I know it's good stuff, man. All right, where are we at? Uh, the bloodline. Bloodline, what is going on here? SummerSlam, they had the, the tribal, uh, what was it? The tribal combat match with yeah. Jay Russo, Roman Reigns. These like <laughs> unclear <laughs> rules. Like they were saying, like uh, during the match, like no one can interfere until mm. the match is over. But yeah. Solo was there. And obviously, spoiler alert, if you've been living under a rock. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Uso pulled up at the end of SummerSlam to help. Well, not to help Roman Reigns win, but to, you know, to, to hey. prevent his brother from winning the Undisputed Championship. And, uh, yeah, like, the rules where it's like, oh, no one can, like, no one can uh, can step in or whatever. But, like, we had multiple people stepping in. I don't know. I just feel like whenever they say that in like some type of a match, like it always happens. Like they said for years, like an elimination chamber, no one can enter elimination chamber. No one can come in there. And then Shawn Michaels just lifts up the grapes. Like, oh shit, I can come in here whenever I want. Like, yeah, <laughs> like easy pass. But, uh, but yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on the end of that match uh, with Jimmy Uso coming in at the end of the match and and uh, essentially helping Roman win? First off, like I, I don't I don't understand how you can tell family not to um interfere in a family oriented match. Like fuck you know, to you. like like but we're family. Like not like Paul Heyman could have get in there and hit me with a belt or something. Paul Heyman just sat there and whopped, <laughs> me, whooped his ass like I was whooping everybody else's ass. So like but it was the perfect little it wasn't the perfect little twist. It was just like like you like you didn't see it coming, but you kinda thought just like yo man, that'd be fucked up if this nigga just popped up and like cost us the match. <laughs> Bro, this for me was like one of the thoughts I had in the back of my head, and then every time I thought about it, it's like one of those things. Where like, I'm like, nah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. That's like, that's crazy. I was like that, and then I, then you think about it, that you'd be like, that'd be walking back like some of the storyline or whatever, and like you're like, nah, they would never do that. And then lo and behold, like he pulls up, helps them out, and originally my thought process on this was that he wasn't helping Roman that it was just out of jealousy because he's like, yo, man, you've gotten a world title match off of my back and off of me being beat up by these three niggas. You know, like, this is how you got your title match. This was never about defending me. This was probably you just, you know, wanting to become the world champion. I can understand that. But what they have said recently on Raw was that, uh, you know, he's back in the bloodline. So I'm hoping there's a swerve somewhere in there where he's just like, you know what? They're like, oh, yeah, you're back in the bloodline, right? And he's like, no, I, I can't. I don't rock with you niggas either. I just didn't want him to be champion because, like, yo, he wasn't doing it for the right reason. Something like that. Like, that's the that's the thing that I think that was the best part because I don't think it has anything to do with Roman because like, he was the first one to kick Roman in his mouth and make Jay like, come on, man, you're supposed to be da 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 da. Like, you're supposed to be whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be us. It's supposed to be us. But then, like, there was a little, there was a couple little things that they sprinkled in, like during the tribal court and shit, where they were talking about, like, you know, Jimmy was the one that, that, that was opposed to you being main event Jay. And then, like, remember when he turned, oh, yeah. remember, when he, remember when he turned to Jimmy and he was like, yo, you were always the, the homecoming queen, the homecoming king. You were always the star of the football team. You were always the star of the family. Like you were always the the number one twin. And then like, and I think that I think that shit started getting to um, started getting to Jimmy. Like it was kind of like like, like a, yeah, it started getting to Jimmy. Yeah, like, oh, I ain't, like, I ain't. yeah. You know what? You right that I, I was all you. Why am I playing second fiddle to you, little bro? Yeah. Like, did I peak in high school? Like, what the fuck is going on? No, man, are you Al Bundy of the family? Like, hey, hey, bro, hey. He, and he like, like, he could be like, I'm, I'm doing all this for you. You, 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 you could do all of this. Sammy was my partner. You ain't wanna, you ain't want him in the crew. You feel me? As soon as you, you know what I'm saying? You start liking him, he start fucking up. He was taking up for him. I was trying to get him up out of here. I got him. I got us away from Roman. You feel me? Like we got all of this going on for the last three years. My wife got let go. You feel me? Like we still da -da 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 -da, doing all of this for Roman and you. And we supposed to be tag champions. And hey, I, I throw it all at the wall. Fuck it. <laughs> Bro, you think I'm supposed to sit down like, to you? I'm supposed to look up to bro. you as the tribal chief? I, I thought Fact, really? and, and and not for nothing, but you know, we've had the seeds planted right here for this for like a while because when Jay came back and he was like on this whole like nobody's bitch thing, 
he was talking to, to Jay in the back, and he was like, you know how you know you you said that you quit during the match, like when he was choking me out. He said, I never would have done that for you. I would have I would have won the match. Like we've seen, like there's some animosity in there, and like the way that he looked at um, Jimmy at the way that Jimmy looked at Jay at the Royal Rumble when he wasn't joining in to attack Sami Zayn. There have been the seeds there. I didn't think we'd get it right now because the plan that you know people have been saying is for this match to go down at WrestleMania 40. Well, we have six months to WrestleMania 40. You know How we do got, we get there? We got two oh, two of our big four between then. Yeah, that's crazy. Somebody had made a graphic that maybe we'd see it at like some like payback or something like that. Oh, they gotta fight at payday, like nigga, nigga. You gotta fight me tomorrow, nigga. Like you just cost me the right. Fight. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what we what we waiting up. for? You know, like we talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Like what do you mean? You know what I mean? But um, what's her um, Colby? Shout out to Colby. She had a good point. She said, uh, "Jimmy Uso has cost Jay Uso every single match against Roman. He threw a towel in." In the First I quit time. match, he was getting choked out in the in the hell in a cell. You feel that's, me? That's still the coldest shit I've ever seen in my life, nigga. Like, God he damn. was the only reason Jay gave up. And here, after Jay has already beaten Roman, pinned him, while Jimmy is sitting back in the corner like this. <laughs> Who knows, Just man? Like- no, just like you know, just like watching, like you know, you got that brother you know saying that you look up to, yeah. and then like he, you, you say, I'm, I'm pretty sure Jimmy's looking at Jay, even though they're only um, 37 seconds apart, and uh, they're looking down, like you know, what I'm saying he probably looked up to him, especially as he was the the, the homecoming king, prom king, best in the saying most most likely to succeed type shit, and that you were just his twin, and now now you're just the twin now, like you know what I'm saying which one is you? Oh, you're oh you're oh you're Jay's brother, you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's hard. It's, 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 it's Brandy, brother. Yeah, man. Like, how, do think, how do you think Brandy felt when Wait a Minute came out? You know what I mean? <laughs> I bet you she was mad. You know what well, she like, turned into like, AJ's sister after the after the scandals. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, like, do you imagine like just like do you imagine like being the big brother or, or being being known as the bigger brother and then everybody's yeah. just flocking around you and now everybody just cares about the brother that nobody cared about except me. <laughs> that's, why, like, that's why that's why I can't get with the idea that you know what I'm saying like Jimmy's just gonna go back to the bloodline I think this whole thing that whatever's gonna happen on Smackdown is gonna be if he does show his hand this week you know they like to draw shit out you feel me like he's not going back to the bloodline like like y'all said like he's gonna be like upset with everybody it's not gonna be like kumbaya and umbrella service for everybody you know what I'm saying we're not going to the you know what I'm saying to the to the PJ and eating shrimp you know what I mean after the mahi what we like whatever it is like we got mahi mahi you know what I'm talking about yeah. but yeah but like <laughs> I, I I don't I don't see that we not we not gonna have sunshine and rainbows over here you know what I'm saying just because uh, you know what I'm saying? Jay was unsuccessful in winning the title. I think Jay's going to be highly upset. Uh, but a lot of people are also pointing to the fact that uh, when they tried to the spike and spear thing, Roman speared solo. And what about this fatal four way idea, Survivor Series, mm. Bloodline? Oh, I'm whole, not, I'm not opposed thing. I didn't think I didn't uh, think solo can go uh, with, um, with with Jay. Because he was already looking at Roman like nigga, you 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 a hoe. Like Yeah, like the like the look that he shot him, like they're sitting there staring each other down for like thirty to forty seconds, like at at um SummerSlam. He's like, Yo man, what's that spear about, bro? Like I already <laughs> don't believe in you. Like I'm already here just because like you know, just off of principle, like, bro, because you because you the guy that I came up here to defend, the elder sent me to you. So like what was that spear about? Like yeah, I you gotta can get see that LA's being too. Yeah, yeah, like I yo, can solo see solo was brother Muzon for sure. But <laughs> yeah, he was he was hired, he was hired by the elders. Also, uh Paul Heyman didn't look surprised, confused, lost, like what the hell is happening right now when Jimmy was kicking Jay in the face. Does he know something that we don't know? Does he know something that Roman doesn't know? Does he know something that solo doesn't know? Ooh, him maybe. and Jimmy have always been talking. 
yeah. the whole time. The only like, the, the, like he's like Jimmy's been the middleman, who Paul's been talking to. Like you know, what I'm saying like you know, what I'm saying if I was you, like da 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 da. If I was you, da 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 da. I mean, I'm saying you, you should be the one. Like, well, he told me that if you can't get your brother over here, that he's about to whoop your ass for everybody again. Like, so I got, uh, it. I got it. Paul Heyman been in Jimmy ear like this. Let me tell you when I when I saw Cole Cabana. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, what's going on, cool <laughs> I just, I just kind of drop that it. track. Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, three cheeses. It's back. All right. it's yeah, back. It's back. I'm just saying. Right. I, I don't know what's gonna go go down with the bloodline. Uh, do y'all think? Yeah. That, let's, uh, do y'all think it has jumped the shark, and we can close the bloodline talk on that? I guess. Uh, let me see. You're gonna, I don't, I don't know. Like, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, like, see, like, in a couple of weeks because they're gonna need something to carry the storyline for a little while because Roman is injured. Uh, that's what people are saying. Mm -hmm. So, you're gonna need a little something to carry this storyline for a little bit until we figure out, like, how severe is Roman injured? Like, not even like if he wasn't injured, who's his next contender? Yeah. things like that like you're gonna have to have something going on you're gonna have to have a little filler going on in the background while they sort of figure these things out and i don't know like like i said like uh, they had been going on so well if they can spin it and kind of like address everyone's concerns and be like yeah jimmy isn't back to to join the bloodline he's just like just wants to destroy everything that his brother's built then yeah, you, you were able to contain that damage. But uh, if you go straight with him, just like, oh, I'm back in the bloodline, everything's cool, like ah, I'm I'm back here for you, Roman. Then you have essentially like ruined a good portion of what you had going, and it's gonna take a little while to fix that. I mean, when you got family, you know what I'm saying? Like you can you can make family branch off into anything because you know those don't nobody love a good brother versus brother match than uh <laughs> than WWE. You know what I'm saying? They'll make brothers fight in the heartbeat. So, like, if you can, oh, like, especially when there's three of them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? You make three, both, all three of them fight each other, you know what I'm saying? See who's yeah. the superior um, Rikishi son. And I'm not, I'm not interested in a brother versus brother <laughs> feud. I'm just not. They they're ne they're, they're twins, never bro. great. Yeah, you're right about that, but I don't really care. I just never <laughs> really liked them. Um, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here just because i feel like there's been ups and there's been downs peaks and valleys with this whole bloodline thing for the last two and a half uh three years now <clears throat> and i have grown to accept when i watch television shows sometimes there are bridge episodes that get us to the next dope shit so you know, I'm, we I'm call that an anime we call that filler What's that Oh, we call that filler. I mean, they call that filler everywhere. But I mean, pause. No, whatever. They don't I don't call that action movie since the Boost and the Furious. Oh, okay. Were you more? Were you more excited 